Hey everybody, good morning. How's it going? It's me, CJ. This is CJ Red. We're live in Japan right now. It is Friday, January 22nd, 2021. I'm gonna head downtown, just walk a bit, get some food and drink. We're having some requests to go skiing, but it's not that cold. Not enough for skiing, at least not over here. So I gotta find out whether there's snow on the slopes or not. I got my new pants on today. Uh, we're sponsored by Adidas now. Shout out. Thank you guys for sending me these. I'm gonna push back what my original plan was since it's kind of sh shoddy outside. It was gonna take us originally to see the second half of the dead zoo. We'll do that tomorrow if it's a little bit better outside. I posted on th a thread on Reddit to ask people what they might want to see here in Japan because I might not have much time left. I might have a lot of time left or I might have not much time left. There's like no in between. So it might be a good idea to start YOLOing things now, just in case. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a long time before anyone can travel back here again. So that's why I just mentioned skiing. That was one idea. I talked to my friends here. They normally drive, but we can take a train to get to a bus, to get to a gondola car, to walk, and then we're there. I figured it out. Go to Hokkaido, too far. If we're gonna cover that kind of distance, we're going to Tokyo, not Hokkaido. Yolo it and visit every major city? Hmm. I got camel stripes, so you can't see me from the side. You can only see me from the front and the back. Oh, oh it's a kimono, I guess. CJ, what are some memorable things in Japan for you? Memorable? Going to Gold's Gym was pretty memorable. And seeing the people there. Grocery shopping has been pretty memorable. The lack of spicy food has been pretty memorable. That's... They need more palate flavors. It's very consistent throughout. Um, getting my first Costco membership, that was, that was pretty memorable to me. No, let's go up here and just look at the view and come back down. I need to go up this way. Those were not the responses you were expecting. Oh, did I answer that incorrectly? So that artwork that Chris Motor K drew on Discord, that building is in it. If your eye is good enough, it can tell. It is in it. I've been up there probably three times. I think you remember less when streaming because you're focused on the stream. Glamping? Oh yeah, trying to build that tent. That was memorable. Bagel Bagel is right over here on our right. All we gotta do is turn the corner. This is not Bagel and Bagel. This is Paul and Joe. What has been your most memorable thing? Chat's most memorable things will definitely be different than my most memorable things, right? Because what you see through the camera is different than what's actually happening. Triple cacao, cinnamon raisins, matcha, and white chocolate. Memorable things. I'm making a list. Renting an entire house was kind of memorable. I've never rented a house before. This is a bagel and a muffin. What city has the best underground? You know, it's kind of hard to compare because every city has like a different size, different um, amount of people, different density. I, uh, I used to measure out the distance and the travel times. And um, my problem with the subway in Korea was that it took trains in Tokyo half the time to travel the same distance in terms of cutting around the city. So that kind of like bothered me. I spent a lot of time on the trains there. But they're also cheaper there than they are in Tokyo. So there's pros and cons to them all. So I would have to say overall in terms of comfort and pleasure, Taipei has the best metro. I think HK has one of the best. You know why HK isn't the best? Is because there's too many stations that are dirty, old, and smelly, and trash. It does not win in terms of comfort. I guess in terms of connectivity and speed it's fine, but it's also very short distances too. It's a small area. But it depends where you are. Like if you're on the island, like it's, it's fine, right? It's once you uh, start heading up and north. It's ghetto as fuck. How to use? Select, press, wave your card. 
Oh my god. This is my first time in Japan using a credit card at a vending machine. Not my first time using a credit card at a vending machine. First time in Japan. For anyone traveling Osaka that gets lost and doesn't have cash but they have a credit card. The one and only vending machine. Somewhere underneath the bridge by the Hankyu building. Oh, what's that? The Matrix is good because it was like ahead of its time movie-wise and sci-fi-wise. But I'm not sure they really hold up to today's standards. That's uh, easier than having to move around to these dancing games, especially after eating a burger, huh? Remember the escalators in the Akihabara Don Quixote? Tiny, tiny squeeze compressed one. And then out here in Osaka, it's like... Oh. Video game's done. That was cool. Alright, I'm gonna head to the train. This is the train station mall. Thanks for all the subs. And have a good Friday. Bye!